Now, let's just summarize what we did. Let's summarize the whole code and just go through it in a fa fast way. So the first thing we did is we did import torch, import torch neural network, and then we imported NumPy, SMP, and Mathplotlib to actually do the plotting. After that, what we did is we define the exact solution, and here we define the exact solution based on the exact solution. Well, for for this exact problem, every pins problem or every uh, problem we are trying to solve have a unique exact solution and in this case it follows these uh, equations and this is what we did here is defining the exact solution to compare this exact solution with our pens solution so this is not really related to pens here we just use this function and we pass uh, or to, to, to use this function, we made some va uh, values and then pass it to the exact solution function in here to get this u exact, which is the exact solution of this problem. Again, this is not pens. However, there are some here va values that have been used in pens because they describe the actual problem. So here we just plotted this thing and you can see this plot. We start from u equals one means we just took this u is like this and actually we said this this the, the the speed in this initial condition is zero and then we left this mass and it will keep vibrating and get uh, with time it will be more and more damped after that we start doing our actual solution which is the pin solution and here we define a forward feed neural network in which the information only go one way. We put the input to be time, and the output is also only one output, which is the U, the location of the mass. And here we define this class, and we define uh, basically three types of um, building blocks for this network and the first one is in in like the um, input which is we have uh, an in, in number of input which is in our case is one which is time and number of hidden is basically depends on the number of hidden layers or neurons in this hidden layer and then here is the hidden layer will pass to another hidden layer or like in hidden and output in hidden which is the neurons and here it will take this in hidden and will sum it up in one output so to build the very basic network we have the first one is input layer hidden layer and exit layer so this is what we did here this is the neural network here we define our neural network and here just initializing this uh, torch uh, seed values to randomize the, the the torch seed and here we actually initialize our pen network so this is now we're using this class to actually initialize this first uh, object or the neural network um, as ffn uh, forward feed uh, feed forward neural network and one input one output and 32 hidden neurons if you have more two inputs you'll have to only put two and here if you have let's say one output or two out just put two with whatever it is you want to output so pin is this pins network and optimizer we set it as the very famous adam very common uh, optimizer and optimizers are the values or are the methods that going to manipulate these um, parameters of the neural network to change the biases and the weights of this neurons to get the network converging. After that, we set the boundary condition. In this case, we only have a uh, well boundary, boundary and actually initial condition. In this case, we don't really have a boundary condition. What we have is initial condition. And initial condition or boundary condition is for pins solution is how we are the points that the network has to 
in that we have to enforce these uh, rules that is at time zero the uh, t boundary or the u at time zero the location of this mass has to be one the network always has to give us one so this is important on the other hand we can we also said the speed of this mass at time equals zero is zero so we have to enforce these into the network as simple as this this is what we do in t boundary or t initial condition uh, after that we have the things we need to compute of course t boundary or t initial condition is very clear we need to make sure that always the output of the network has to satisfy this initial condition boundary condition for t physics it has to satisfy other thing which is the equation and the equation of well the governing equation of this problem it can be navier stokes equation it can be uh, well um, like heat equation uh, berger's equations whatever it is you just need to comply with this equation in this case we have ode or the need differential equation and uh, we have to comply with it so we created some points from 0 to 1 we create 30 points these points will have to be computed and keep updated in this network we set the training from um to 40,000 steps now you can set 30,000 20,000 depends on your problem you just write a number that is sufficient to make this problem converge the first thing we did, we zero grad the optimizer. We make sure the optimizer is just grounded, zero. And then we define some lambdas, which is a way we can control which part of the equation has to be comply uh, more. Um, and also, this is a way to control the equation itself we might have some, uh, some parts that we need to emphasize on it or during the uh, training we need to make sure to reduce its effect for example if you have if you're uh, solving the stokes equations you might have a problem with the conviction term of the equation which is uh, which is basically the part of the equation that the information changes very fast compared with another part of the equation so we can control this by adding lambdas and of course we can control we use these weights to actually control the losses so the first thing we did is we 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 calculated u how we calculated u from the pins from the network itself which is we pass this boundary which is the time equals zero and we computed u now u has to comply first that at the initial condition it has to equal one so this is uh, just u equals one you add you put u in the other direction and then u become minus one and we put squared to make sure that if it's minus it will become positive because the optimizer is going to reduce the loss as much as possible so it will make it zero try to make it zero and this is how this network con going to converge so this is uh, the first one the second one is we say the speed of this mass at time equals zero is zero so we did the same here however we had to uh, calculate the gradient at this um, time u to t at this boundary location and make sure again this equals to zero we did some here example of uh, doing some um, different uh, differentiation using uh, PyTorch so this is finished now the physics loss the physics loss is simply we need to comply with this equation which is the ODE that governs this motion and in order to do that we start breaking breaking it down basically U is going to be here computed from again the pins network so we put it in here du over dt we take this guy and we um, differentiate it and differentiate it again take this one and differentiate it again that means the second differentiation and then pass everything to the loss loss three is correspond to the physics loss we add these weights to actually balance these weights that about they are they are comparable so if this value is very high we have to multiply it 
to at least reduce its effect, reduce the loss value. And this is how we have kind of reasonable uh, effect from every loss. And it will be all summed into the total loss. We use this loss to do a backpropagation. And from backpropagation, then the optimizer can know how to change the parameters to the to achieve a zero loss so this is what we do here this is just a printing statement it's just plotting and then we keep doing this over and over again until we have a convergence we can see the result is already converged and when we say converged means with time we're not really we don't have any change in the uh, weights and um, and we can com we can just compare our result pen solution with exact solution to understand what is the error so the difference here when you have a difference means the pens is generating a little bit error so we have to at least um, just get it uh, more and more uh, uh, converged so with that this is uh, this is just um, some plotting things and uh, with that we actually solved our uh, pens problem and this is uh, the summary of this code